What's up, you guys? This is Travis and Legendary of Bullet Kennels. Hey, as you see, I got my Frenchies out to tonight. It's been a long day, man. We've been out for my son. He's turning nine years old on Tuesday. So thankful and grateful to God to that. As you see, I got my Frenchies out right now. Uh, this little pup does not belong to me. He'll be going home probably by November. Uh, no later than the middle of November, once he gets a little bit bigger and potty trained. He look like he's gonna poop right on my court, which he's not. Uh, this is Sasha right here. Camera a little blurry right now. It'll get better, hold on one second. Put him in the grass. Or something, this is, that's Sasha. That is my Frenchie. And uh, we got a good thing going, so she gonna be going in heat in about a year, in about about a year. I give her a year. She'll be one in she'll be one in February. She hasn't came into heat yet, so she'll be one in February. Uh, I'll give y'all a picture of in a minute. I'm gonna get these fringes put up so I can get these big dolls out. She should be going in heat in about a year. Um, so. The first litter, I will not own any other pups unless I choose to pay a little fee for it. That's Sasha. Sasha. Hey, mama. Look, she messed with uh, Kingston. That's his name. That's what his almost came up with. I'm just training him. He's going to be he's gonna be here getting potty trained, um, getting used to a schedule. Sasha will go in heat. Like I said, she'll be ready for puppies in about a year. Right now, I'm not looking at only any other first litter. My focus is the second litter because I have something special going with that. Uh, so I won't own any other first litter. But you can also you can you can reach out to me to have to to get a puppy if you want one. Uh, what's the name? And this is Thor. Barking. Oh, listen to little Kingston going at it. Uh, this is Thor barking like that. He's He's so used to being the baby now. He's no longer the baby. He does it. He doesn't work well as well. That's something we gotta break. Listen, to little Kingston. Listen, to little Kingston. Uh, little Kingston ain't scared. He said, "You can let him out. I, I'll jump with him." Hey, cut it out. So you know, this is what we got going over here. Does their bullet kennels? I'm sorry, you guys I haven't been really posting the Frenches, but tonight seems like a great night to do it because I had to get them out. Like I said, we've been out all day with my son's birthday, family first, and then, you know, family first over the dogs, and then everything else, you know, goes after that. Um, as y'all see, the Thor's not having such a good time with these puppies around them. Cut it out! Um, I'm about to put the Frenches up. Get these big dogs out and fed. I know they hungry. I haven't. We had, they ain't ate today. I give them two times a day, but we've been we've been moving all yesterday, all the day. Um, you know, like I told y'all in the last video, we had car problems. We went and got a new car, so that's a blessing. Um, so uh, you know, it's been it's been a work in progress. Um, I'm so ready to, for Nova to go in heat. Nova. I'm so ready for her to go in heat. I can't wait to see what her and Nice produce. Man, I'm so excited about that litter. Uh, the puppy the puppy area is probably going to be over there where that table is. I'm going to move uh, that stuff. No, no. Kingston, no. Uh, the puppy area is going to be over there where the table is. I'm probably going to move all that stuff. Uh, I've been searching up and down for a little kitty food, which has been entirely hard to find because the season is over with. It's partially my fault. I tried to wait till the very last minute when they go on sale and get one. But I done went to like three or four different Walmarts trying to find one. So tomorrow before I go to work, I'm going to try one more place. Uh, hold one second, y'all. Let me get these Frenchies put up. So I can get these big dogs out and get them fed. And the reason why they in the garage, they usually in the house. When we came home today, man, they had the house so sneaky. And I didn't have time to wash them up. So they're going to sleep out here with the big dogs tonight. And uh, tomorrow before I go to work, if I have time, I get them out and get them a bath. But give me one second here, guys. I'm going to put this camera up right here. Come 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 here.
corner of the loop with ah. Sasha. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get the big dogs fed. Uh, reason why I turn the cage like that, cause Sasha, man, she's so strong. She breaks the door down, and she'll be running wild and all out here, barking and stuff all night, crying all night, cause she out and they not. But yeah, um, man, I did talk to the owners of the puppy I got coming in today. Um, just let you guys know they sent me a picture. Um, man, the puppies look good. The puppies look good. I got two of them that I'm still going back and forth about which one I want to get. So, it's, uh, it's going to be something. I, I'm telling you guys, both of these puppies are, oh, man, they, they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about when you see these puppies, y'all, when you see the puppy, y'all going to be like, oh, man, the only thing is, you just, I got to find the right one because I am going to keep a female off Nova, his first litter, and then that male, and eventually, between those three, they're going to build up my program for what I want done. Um, so, and uh, I did talk to somebody on Instagram and they're in, uh, I think I said in the last video, they're in Cali. And we've talked about making something happen in the future. Be about a year from now. Let's get this stuff in their food so they can eat. Hey, Amen. I ain't got no ground beef. But get y'all some dog boom. Two scoops. Two scoops of food. Sprinkle a little dog boom on there. Like cheese. And some dime. Oh, man. I'm telling you, it, it did wonders for Sasha. Shout out to Nulo, which is my new dog food. I'm not switching again. Um, I am going to... Um, I am going to order raw from this place called... Um, from this place called Rebel Raw. And uh, it's like $37 for like uh, two days of feed for a week. So that'll be two weeks of feeding for me. I do the raw feeding in the morning and the um, the raw feeding in the morning and the uh, kibble feeding at night. Or I might flip them. So, you see these? Look at this. Look what she just did. Look what she just did. Being all wild. Every time it never fails. Now she looking for food and all of it on the ground. She gonna eat off the ground tonight, y'all. I'm not cleaning her. Every time she do it, every time she come out of the cage, 100 percent wild, and she do this every time. She got so much energy. I think I'm gonna. Uh... And if she don't clean it up, he will. So, uh, yeah, but I'm gonna do a. A kibble feed in the morning and a raw feed at night. But what I'm going to do is in the morning, they still going to get a little raw. Look at this crazy dog. Uh, I'm still going to do a raw feed in the morning. I'm going to have raw food for them in the morning. It's going to be uh, the ground beef mixed in with the kibbles. Whenever they do the kibbles. I got to sweep this up, y'all. This is ridiculous. Come and eat your food off the ground because I'm not feeding this up. You want to, you know, eat it out the ground tonight. She's just so, so hyper. So hyper all the time. All the time. She do this 90% of the time, knock her food over. I'm not, you might clean it up, but not tonight. I'm not cleaning it up tonight. Throw it in the other half, she get in the half. Uh, so, yeah, the raw feeding, either in the morning or the night, and then the kibble feeding with a little raw in it. Vice versa. 
Uh, yeah, man, so it's going to be a blessing. Like I said, man, I hope this first little puppies calm her down a little bit. She's losing a little weight. I'm going to have to go back to two feedings a day. Look like with her. I want to put some more weight back on her. Uh, she don't care for the kibbles by herself. She like the ground beef mixed in. I'm going to have to get up and get, go to the store in the morning and get some ground beef. And uh, probably try to get to the dog shop early. It might open to get some more new low. I'm low on that. But yeah, we out here just chilling late night after the party, you know. You know, we went and had a good time today. I, I enjoyed myself. No, but uh, leave them alone. Uh, that's the puppy screaming like that. He want to get out with the big dogs. I'm not going to let that happen. Not right now. As you see, she leaving me work to do. Leaving food every day in the house, house, uh, ants everywhere. And, uh, man, look, I know I don't have a big old killer like everybody, but don't worry, just wait, it's coming. It's truly coming. Key, key, to, key to a lot of things is just being patient. Being patient, that's, that's a lot. Just being patient. Go to the back. Uh, that's, that's the key to a lot, man, just being patient. Just, just... Waiting it out, being patient, understanding that things are going to happen for you. Although, you know, I done had a monkey wrench doing my game plan. You know, uh, my car was a monkey wrench, a big one. But I've been patient, you know, been working things out, plotting things out, thanking God, praying to God, asking him for directions. And he's been blessing me all the way. So, you know, just being patient a lot of times, solve a lot of things. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. hey mama, hey girl, her skin is so beautiful now, versus the summertime, uh, she's still missing a little hair on her tail, but her skin is beautiful now, but yeah, just being patient, and just waiting now, like I said, man, it's just been blessing, uh, but yeah, man, I'm I'm just chilling. Uh, Y'all, let me know. I'm using a new app for the YouTube channel. Hey, man, just uh, leave a comment below if y'all like the difference in the uh, in the actual video. You know, uh, man, I don't, I really don't have nothing else to really talk about right now. Uh, Let's see if I can think of anything before I get off here. Uh, get out of there, Nova. Uh, I really don't have nothing else here, guys. You know, like I said, this is my little kennel. Everything for the dogs over here. I don't know if I said this earlier, but uh, the puppy area. So this long cord, as y'all see on the ground right here, and it's a plug over here. No. I'm going to run that cord all the way around. And make that where the table is for puppy area for when she's get pregnant and she's in heat. I found a play pen. I already ordered it. I got I'm looking for a pool, plastic pool. It's my fault. I waited to the very last minute to try to get one on the cheap. Um, but now they're hard to find. I've been to like three Walmarts. Nobody got them. Four or five dollar generals. Nobody got them. But I'm going to find one. Uh, we gonna, I'm going to find one um, tomorrow, sometime this week. But that's going to be the puppy area where the table is. I'm probably going to move that table over here where this couch is, my little sitting area. Uh, where I just sit, chill, relax, think, plot. If you chew on that cord, you're going to get in trouble, man. If you chew on that cord, you're going to get in trouble. So, yeah, that's where the table probably going to end up at. Nova, leave that alone. Get off that. Hey. That's where the puppy area is going to be. I'm going to have a play pen. Uh, don't you jump on that table. I'm going to have a put a heating lamp over there. Clean that up real good. Um, so the puppy to have a good area for when she have them. Uh, I want to be prepared. That's what I want to talk about. I want to be prepared for this litter. Because my first litter that I did with Thor, 
I didn't have papers. I don't have papers on Thor or the mother. And I took that litter and bought her. And I got rid of the mother of the puppies because she wasn't listening. So, uh, get down. So, uh, I wasn't ready for that litter. I had no idea what was going on. I told you no. Uh, I wasn't ready for that litter that she had. Um, I wasn't prepared at all. And uh, this time I want to be well prepared. I want to have some set up. So, as y'all can see, I got a little bag of wood chips over there, which I'm going to pile up on those in the next couple of weeks because it's going to get cold. And with them being in the garage, I want to make sure they, they good and heated. Uh, I want to be prepared when this litter comes. I don't want to be unprepared. Um, I want to have the puppy area set up. Um, the play pen set up. I want everything to be perfect for when she have a litter. And they'll be back off over in the corner. And I'm going to move these two cages on down from the male dogs. Uh, and any other dogs I have at that time. Uh, but I just want to be well prepared. And, man, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Like I said, man, God been moving things around. And I'm going to just be, I'm going to just give y'all a word, man. Sometimes you're going to get discouraged. Sometimes people are going to try to, you know, take you off track from what you want to do. Sometimes you're going to have a monkey wrench through in the, uh, in your plans. And guys, just know, stay focused. Stay focused. Don't let nobody deter you away from what you want to do. Come back up here. Hey. She coming. She going away. Um, don't let nobody deter you away from your plans. Don't let nobody deter you away from what you got planned, what you got going on. Uh don't 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 do it. I mean, don't don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. The key to success is just being focused, being determined, uh, being motivated. And that's what you got to do. You got to stay focused. You're going to have trials and tribulations throughout your whole process or whatever you're trying to do. But the key is just to stay focused and keep the grind going. And no, Nova. Keep the grind going. She loves to chew on stuff. No. Oh. Um, the key to just staying focused, man. Keep the grind going. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, well, you can't do this. You can't do that. And I'm going to say something that somebody used to tell me, oh, what's your plan B? It's good to have a plan B. No lie. You're going out your jurisdiction. Hey, get over here. You know better. I don't let it go too far in other people's yard. Um. It's good to have a plan B. I'm not going to lie. It's good to have a plan B. That's something everybody should have. But let me say this about plan B. Your plan B needs to be needs to be your last result. So what I mean by that is if you got a plan B, it needs to be the last thing on your mind. It needs to be the last thing that you think about doing. It doesn't need to be, oh, if I fail on my plan A. No, cut it. Don't even think about failing plan A. Get focused to get determined and figure out how to make plan A work so you won't even have to look at plan B. And that's something I, sh I wish I would have known at a younger age when I was playing ball seven, eight, nine times a week. And I really just wanted to make the NBA or whatever. Try to make it at least, you know, every every kid's dream. But I didn't have that mindset. I was told to keep a plan B. What was my plan B? Which I typically didn't have one at the time. I had nothing on my mind but basketball. But I let I also let other things and other people influence me to do something different. So that's my main goal is to give all you guys. Because I'm going to tell you something. A year ago... This, a year ago, a year and a half ago, a year ago, pretty much, having a dog kennel wasn't even a thought. Having a dog kennel wasn't even a thought. I just had two pets that I wanted to breed and make puppies, make a little money, and move on about my day. 
That was my goal a year ago. But a year and a half ago, two years ago, having a dog kennel wasn't even a thought. Now I have a Frenchie with papers. I have a I have a bully with papers. I have another bully coming in with papers. Hey. Hey, hey, what you doing over there? Why are you crying like that? What you doing in that son? Sorry, y'all. I got to check on the little puppy because I got them in there together to keep trying to try to get her to teach him not to boo and pee everywhere. As you see these two fighting and playing. But this wasn't even in the plan. But as I did my research and I looked into it and I talked to people and I got an understanding of what was going on and knowing that I love dogs and I love... If you go down there, Nova, she always got to get something to chew on. I got to break that habit. That's bad habit. She don't do it on release. She just do it when she off the lease. But this wasn't even in the plan. No. Uh, this wasn't even in the books. This wasn't even in the plan. What the hell? No. Having this, having this kennel wasn't in the plan. Having a kennel wasn't even in the plan. It wasn't a thought. It was none of that. But like I said, I got a bully right here in Nova. I got uh, a bully on the way. I got a Frenchie. I'm going to have one puppy off there. So think about this. I'm making all this happen in a year or two. You can do the same thing with your goal or your dream. So don't let nothing deter y'all away. I didn't plan on making this video this long, but this is just stuff that's been on my heart. And I'm just getting out to y'all, man. Whatever dream you got, go for it. Don't let nobody stop you. Nobody. Even if you take, even if you got have a minor setback, you know, right now, no one can get pregnant. God forbid, and lose every single puppy. That'll be a ma That'll be a major setback. But I'm only gonna look at it as minor because guess what? Six months later, she'll be ready to go. A year, a six months to a year later, she'll be ready to go again. So it may be a major, major, be a major setback, but it's minor to me because you know why? I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep going hard. I, I'm, I'm not gonna stop. You know. So I want y'all to think the same way. If you, uh, you know, if you got something going for yourself, do not run into me. They plan. They're about to run me over. You know, I want y'all to have that same mindset that uh. That hey, if you if you have a little minor setback, it may be may look major, it may feel major, but it's minor. You're gonna have a major comeback, and when you have that major comeback, you're gonna feel so good about it. You're not even gonna know what to do, you know. So you know, my little minor setback was my car. You know, it cost me some money. Still cost me money now. Hey, no. Let me get this dog, cause she just be get away from over there. I'm scared to tell you. Uh, it's just, it's just, you can't get, all my whole messages, man, don't get, don't get discouraged. Don't get off track. If you got a plan, stick with that plan and make sure it's plan A and not plan B or C or D. Stick with that plan A and figure out every possible way to make it work. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing Deter you away from what you want to do. You know. And I don't care what it is you might want to do. Don't let it. Don't. 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 Don't let it deter you. You know. I a bad self. But you guys. I'm finna get off here man. Um, it's late. Go in here and relax man. We've been out all day. Kids are saying knocked out. And the wife is too. But it's all good man. We gonna. Call of the night here, at legendary bullet kennels. Hey man, y'all have a blessed night. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'm finna get these dogs in here, man. But just remember my message, man. Plan A is the only plan you need, and that's the one you need to ride out and try to work. This is Travis at Legendary Bullet Kennels. Peace.